Hello, thank you for joining with me. This is day 192 with the Course Companions group, and we are going to read the review by Robert Perry of Chapter 14, The Light of Guiltlessness. And I'm just going to go through for day 192 and read Robert Perry's commentary on this chapter. Section 1, The Logic of Blessedness. Because I have chosen to deceive myself, the Holy Spirit needs to reach me indirectly. He needs to show me that the ego's logic is insane and leads to nothingness. He needs to show me that I can never learn what I've been trying to learn. He needs to help me undo my denial of everything. And he needs to teach me that I am blessed by guiding me to bless others, thus proving to myself that the blessing I have given must be within me. Section 2, The Happy Learner I have made myself miserable by trying to learn what never can be learned, that nothingness is real and valuable. I need to give my learning to the Holy Spirit to undo for me, and let him teach me his lesson. Truth is true. His lesson will shine from me, shining away my brother's chains of darkness. They will then teach me that the light is in me. This is how I learn the happy lesson that only truth is true. How I become a happy learner. Section 3 guiltlessness and invulnerability. Guilt is not salvation. It just interferes with learning. I must realize that I am whole only in guiltlessness. I am choosing between guiltlessness and guilt each moment. Given, giving the miracle is the sign that I have chosen guiltlessness. When my brother attacks me, I can give him a miracle by teaching him that I am unhurt. Thus do I teach him that he is guiltless, that nothing that is not of God has power, and guilt is not of God. Section 4, Guiltless Decision Making My concept of decision is to seek salvation as I conceive of it. I thus make decisions for myself alone and then end up feeling guilty. I need to let the Holy Spirit guide all of my decisions. He understands that salvation is released from guilt. His decisions are made for everyone in recognition that literally everyone is affected. His gift to me is great, but I should not question that I am worthy of it, for he knows that God created me worthy. Section 5 Loving in a Loveless Place By seeing guilt in my brother, I have taught myself I am guilty and do not belong in God's presence. I need to realize that in truth I am guilt guiltless, that God is right about me and I am wrong. I let the guilt in my mind be removed by learning to forgive, by fulfilling my function of loving in a loveless place. This is facilitated by letting the Holy Spirit make all my decisions for me, for His decisions contain the love I need to express. Section 6, The Condition for Knowing God God loves me more than I can understand. I yearn for him as he yearns for me. To know him again, all I must do is accept my own guiltlessness. This comes through accepting the entire sonship as guiltless and letting my mind be transformed into a radiant message of his love to all my lovely brothers. Section 7, The Circle of Atonement 
As one of God's messengers, the message I have been given to teach is that everyone, being God's son, is guiltless. I need to stand with Jesus inside the circle of atonement. Realize that in truth, everyone is inside, and then invite them to come inside by teaching them their guiltlessness. With each one that I bring inside, I will become increasingly convinced that I am guiltless, that I myself belong inside. Section 8, The Sentinels of Darkness I have hidden my darkness behind dark doors, guarded by sentinels. Yet it is the hiding that makes something fearful, for nothing is fearful in itself. I need to open all the doors and bring everything to the Holy Spirit. His is the light of perfect oneness. He will separate from me everything in my mind that seems to separate me from God. He will strip away my dark language of separation, leaving me only with the language of love. Section 9 bringing your darkness to him. I have kept my darkness from the light in me, thus allowing that darkness to persist. I have hidden it behind dark doors where it obscures the power and glory God gave me. However, nothing can obscure that power and glory, and so nothing is behind those doors. To see this, I need to open the doors, bring all my dark and secret thoughts to the Holy Spirit, and look upon them with Him, allowing His light to shine away the darkness. Section 10, The Reflection of Holiness I have left God's temple and have worshipped other gods. However, if I, clean, if I clean those other gods, okay, there we go. That didn't make sense at first. If I clean those other gods off the mirror of my mind, it will become a spotless mirror, reflecting God's holiness to everyone I meet. No matter who they are, they will see the same light in me, and no matter what problems they bring to that light, it will shine only healing on them. When I offer only healing, I will go beyond reflections to the truth itself. Reflections of the truth to the truth itself. Section 11, The Equal Blessing of the Miracle The mirror of my mind reflects constant changing patterns of light and darkness. I attempt to impose order on the chaos by ordering my thoughts. I need, however, to let the Holy Spirit order my thoughts. I can see how He will do this by seeing how He, he asks me to respond to the thoughts of others. He divides their thoughts into love and a call for love and then asks me to respond with the total love to every single call from anyone. And lastly, section 12, the test of perfect peace. I can only claim I understand if I am perfectly at peace and everyone I meet shares in my peace. In the past, I taught myself dark lessons of attack on God's Son. I need to let all my past learning go. I do this through refusing to see the present in its light. This allows the Holy Spirit to replace my dark lessons with His bright lesson. And this enables me to work miracles. Every miracle I do allows the Holy Spirit to give a miracle to me. Thank you so much for joining with me in this review of Chapter 14 by Robert Perry, Day 192 with the Course Companions Group. Chapter 14, The Light of Guiltlessness. I love you. Thank you for joining with me.